Uh, good day dear chess lovers, Soren here and in today's video I want to share with you a very aggressive attacking game played by Soviet chess master Solomon Flor. As you know Flor was a positional player, he was often criticized for his dry style but in this game we see him standing in front of our eyes as a tactical monster. Flor's opponent is Soviet chess master Grigory Rabinsky. This game is from 1944 USSR Championship. We are in round 10 and Flor opened up with d4. Ravinsky answered with d5, c4, queen's gambit and black is answering with slav defense. Knight f3, knight f6, knight c3 and d takes e4. Black is accepting the gambited pawn which leads to a very sharp battle. Uh, other alternative is playing a4 stopping black's b5 move stopping black from protecting the pawn on c4 but in our game we have e3 and when black is making this b5 move this really hits up the position. Let's see what's going to happen next. a4 b4 knight a2 other retreating square is knight b1 again a popular move but in our game we have knight a2 hitting on b4 e6 protecting the pawn at the same time preparing the development of the dark squared bishop but after e6 bishop takes c4 we have knight bd7 move later Ravinsky would start playing this line starting with bishop e7 after getting crushed in this game severely preparing an immediate castling you know and in this game since black is delaying castling is going to pay a high price for it White castled kingside bishop b7 queen e2 c5 undermining white center opening up the light squared bishop's diagonal and also the c5 can allow black to activate his pieces. Rook d1 queen c7 moving away the queen from the vulnerable d file and bishop a6 a strong move by floor. Uh, Black's light squared bishop is very strong and white wants to get rid of it. At the same time, by playing bishop a6, white is temporarily stopping black from going for a7, a5. Bishop d5, this is already a mistake that it's good to go for an exchange on a6 and play queen b6. Uh, simplify the position, but in our game we have bishop d5 and there comes bishop d2. Rook b8, rook c1, all the time white is creating problems for black on the queen side, queen b6 and bishop b5. Well, a5 is actually stronger, the idea is that if queen takes a5 then knight b4 and if uh, queen goes back on d8 then just d takes c5 and then knight takes b4. You can't win a piece because in the end of the day there is this rook c8 move. But in our game we have bishop b5 move by floor. a5 knight e5 intensifying the pin bishop d6 at least it was better to play rook d8 but okay already black is in a very tough situation. There comes d takes c5 bishop takes c5 e4 yeah white will now won't give his opponent a time of castling. Bishop goes back on b7 and bishop g5. Now the threat is bishop takes f6 and then the knight will drop. That's why black protected the piece and bishop f4. This time knight d7 can be a threat. That's why black moved away the rook from h to b8 diagonal and queen c2 threatening queen takes c5. Black moved the bishop back on e7 and now how to intensify the pressure. Ready? I guess you found white's next mob. There comes queen takes c8. A queen sacrifices on the board which is allowing to tie up opponent's pieces further. You know we have another pin. Knight c4 attacking black queen. At the same time if needed the knight can land on d6. Queen d4, bishop e3. But uh, white has something better in his mind. First White is bringing his bishop on c5, not allowing his opponent to castle. And then, for example, already knight d6 can land. Knight takes e4. Well, black managed to cover the d6 square, but there comes knight e5. Queen takes b5. Well, if queen d2, then bishop takes d7. And again, this is going to be an easy win. Here is one of the possible lines. Yep, 
white is a piece up, this is an easy win. In our game of charge 95, we have a queen takes b5 move and a takes b5. Knight takes e5, rook d1, knight d7, bishop b6. There is just no way out, you know. King e7, bishop takes a5, knight takes f2. Uh, Black's idea is that if king takes f2, then bishop b6 check, but even so, this is winning for white, you know. Well, in the game, we have rook takes d8 move. Knight takes d1, rook takes h8. b3, knight c1, and yeah, black resigned. Yeah, black can't do anything. And yeah, that's why we have a resignation. A very, very impressive attacking game by Floor. So, for falling behind in development, not castling in time. Grigory Rominski paid a very high price in this game. In the end, a simple chess puzzle for you where the task is to win with the white pieces. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video.